Hello, everybody, and welcome to IHLS Inotech International Conference. In this segment, we have the pleasure of speaking with Brigadier General Dr. Danny Gold, head of MAFAT. It's my honor and pleasure to be here. What I will do, I will scan, scan uh, my organization, what is the defense development of R&D is doing, and later go to the commercial world or the dual-use world and the startup uh, uh, scene. Uh, this is the, our main role of our organization. We are the Technology Center of Israel. We first, of course, do the main R&D uh, for Israel Ministry of Defense and Israel Defense Forces, R&D, which means for the basic, basic, basic research and technology to uh, all, the, all the chain to developing a new system and produce a new system. Of course, advanced, uh, uh, enhance advanced scientific and technology and know-how. And we also have the elite uh, technology personnel uh, screening and training in our organization, which means the famous Talpiot and Psagot program. We screen them from high school, train them, and then uh, put them in the right places in the Israel Defense Forces. And in addition to that, we are also in charge of international cooperation regarding R&D. This is our main role of our organization. We are more, uh, more mission, but I skip it because of, of time. Uh, in recent years, we look also not only in the defense establishment, but also outside of the commercial world, because the commercial world is boosting very fast in many, many areas. Uh, machine learning, AI, big data, um, the main investment is the, in, in the commercial area starting with focus medicines and managing cities and all of this. So what we do, we look outside, partner with the entities, whether our companies, startup technology, we call it dual use. We add our own layers to the, to the, to the uh, huge investment and we do our own uh, job. This is one example. Other example of the connectivity communication, now is 5G. In recent years was another communication, IoT, Internet of Things and other, uh, other uh, assets that we have in the commercial world. Of course, augmented reality, virtual reality, user experience. We take the technology from uh, Hollywood, of course, for the mobile and from gaming, and we add our own layer for C4I, command and control, or to, or to activation of weapons. New space is another emerging area in the commercial world, uh, in the government or commercial world, which is, which is uh, meant to launch swarm of uh, small satellites, one to 10 kg nanosatellites, that intended to do uh, many applications. One of them, of course, is uh, complementary to the cellular. Uh, Elon Musk is uh, now uh, launching a few thousand of them. So, and agriculture control. What we do, we, took, we, we are taking the basic technology, the infrastructure, basic technology, and the chip launching, and we add our own secret layer above it. We don't waste our, our, uh, our money of, of building the already uh, built uh, building blocks. Another, of course, is cyber. So what we can take, we, we take. What we cannot take, we do in-house. Of course, for uh, defense, we cooperate. For offense and intelligence, we are doing in-house. We don't use uh, at least uh, a rare cases of uh, commercial world. Energy sources, we take it from the, of course, from the uh, cars, from uh, mobiles and other uh, sources. And, and biology engineering is a new, uh, uh, not new team for us. But this is biology, engineering, synthetic biology. The commercial world is, is boosting because of, uh, again, focus medicines, curing the cancer, uh, all of these things. Now uh, finding a cure to, to diseases, to corona. What we do, we take this technology, we deviate it because we want to, uh, let us say, synthetic bio do the synthetic biology on, on bacteria. They can fight explosive. We want to use the DNA as a new, new dimension of intelligence and we use it in, in our cases. And of course, other robotics autonomous, of course, we take it from the commercial world, all the autonomous cars, but we, we are not driving in the highway, we're driving in the hills, in the forest, so we have to take the brain, add our own brain and our weapon system on board. So this is what we do with the commercial world. Of course, we have, own, we have our own uh, a backbone, bread and butter, so that we, we cannot take something from the commercial world or startup. This is our main, main work. I will show it by, uh, by maybe by uh, uh, video clips. This is, a, we call it active defense system that protect our tanks, armor vehicles against anti-tank missiles, deadly missiles, show by movies. It's very fast. Someone uh, launched a weapon on us, and in a few seconds, even less than that, we intercept the incoming rockets or incoming the uh, 
uh, anti-tank missiles. You can see it uh, now in slow motion. We intercept it and protect the, the tank. Another technology is the future armor vehicle, the future tank. Everything is 3D. You're inside the tank. You don't have to put your body to see what is going on outside. Everything is reflected into the tanks, 3D. AI-based, all the sensors are connected, all the effectors are connected. You can find IED, you can find target, you can destroy target by, by only touch the screen. This is the future, and we already demonstrated. We are going to assimilate it in our new uh, tanks. And this is also a vision that is uh, come into the reality in maybe next year. We have our own Iron Dome and, uh, and uh, missile defense uh, system, which are, we call it the uh, a hard kinetic interception. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, hitting the enemy rockets or missiles and blowing the enemy rockets. Now we work on lasers. We work many years of lasers on lasers, but in the last, uh, let's say, two years, we have a breakthrough, technology breakthrough. And the vision is we have a laser, detect, and you shoot the laser to the, to the, to the, to the enemy weapon, wherever is a, a missile, wherever is a drone, or anything, you protect, you create a bubble uh, above your uh, force or uh, in your uh, border and protect Israel. It will be complementary layers to Iron Dome, David Sling, and Aero 3, which is the kinetic one. This is during a wedding in Beersheba, our main uh, uh, south city. During a wedding in Beersheba, it was filmed by the wedding photographer, which was smart enough to point his, uh, his camera to the, to the south, while Hamas our enemy shooting 15 rockets at the same time to Beersheba to cope with Iron Dome. And Iron Dome almost automatically responds to this. This is, by the way, is the barbecue. People continue to party. And the Iron Dome is working. You see the Iron Dome is uh, launched swarm of Iron Dome. Each one is going to his own target, his own enemy, and destroy it. It's operational already. We upgrade the Iron Dome all the time. Every 9 to 12 months, there's a new version of Iron Dome because the enemy is learning and we are learning. And another technology that we have developed is a unique technology for protect of commercial jet, commercial airline uh, against the uh, man pads. It's called a very small missile that you can launch for your shoulder. This is a scenario. Of course, it's a simulation scenario. The terrorists are hiding near their runway. You can buy this weapon everywhere in the black market or you can buy it informally from uh, many nations. You shoot it to the, to the aircraft. It's very easy to take down commercial jet. What we have in our aircraft is a system with sensors that the sense that someone shoot missile at me, and we point the laser to the head of the missile. The laser is a sophisticated laser. In this laser, we hide some viruses that penetrate the, the, the head of the missile, the infrared head of the missile, penetrate inside, and make the missile to miss the target, to deviate it and blow. It's not a science fiction, it's working already. It's installed at our uh, national uh, airline. It's the only one in the world uh, that used this, uh, this missile. So this is the new technology. And coming to the higher level protecting Israel, we have the Iron Dome tactical uh, system, and then we have the Aero 2 and Aero 3, which is supposed to uh, take down the enemy ballistic missiles, whether he shot from Iraq, Iran, if they will shoot it at Israel, it is done in the space, in the space far away from Israel. So this is a test that we have done in U.S. We take all the assets uh, to U.S. because you cannot do, uh, do such a test in Israel. The Mediterranean is very small. Uh, you have to close all the Mediterranean because of safety. Uh, so we, we went to there with a massive operation. We take our missiles, the enemy missiles. We, sh we shoot the enemy missiles from long range, range of Iran, and we intercept the missile in the space. You will see this is the Aero 3 going to the space. And you see the interception in space, which was a major breakthrough. This is interception. We do it three times in a row in a few days, which was a, a major uh, breakthrough uh, worldwide. And another example, we, sh we develop our own uh, uh, surveillance satellites and the launcher. You see here a few months ago, we launched another high-end, high-resolution surveillance satellite. Uh, we launch into the space. It's already operational, sending very good uh, picture to, uh, to us. I think now 
during the coronavirus uh, uh, epidemic, we, I decided to uh, deviate all the power that we have, mainly manpower, creativity, uh, devotion, to help the country to fight the, the, the corona. It was done using uh, uh, my people in the organization, but another one, about 1,000 people outside my organization, university, research, and research centers, uh, defense uh, uh, companies, commercial companies, startup, all come together uh, to help the country to, to uh, fight this epidemic. What we do, we, uh, we, we assimilate our methodology, which learning fast the problem and solving the problem fast. We send our people down to the medical hospitals, to the corona uh, de uh, 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 department to learn what are the problem together with the medical staff and create the solution. I can divide this uh, uh, free area of interest. One was critical saving life. The famous one is creating a ventilators production line in Israel. In this case, we attach small companies that have something to do with ventilators, small commercial companies with big defense companies, helping also to control the supply chain. You cannot buy the elements, was scarce resources uh, back then but also create massive production line. It was not easy to do, you know, to attach the missile and weapon division to some small startup company to work together, but we have done it. We have a few other examples. And in the, in the center, we can see uh, helping the country to cope with this, uh, with this wave of, of corona, preventing personnel in the, in the hospital to get infected, control the epidemic with AI, and other, other uh, example that I will uh, show in a movie in a few seconds. And I call it game changer, which means fast testing. Massive, high pace, fast testing, fast testing. This is example of uh, fast testing that we are doing now. We are still uh, testing it. You blow to a tube. You put the tube in some electronic machine. The electronic machine shoot electromagnetic wave into the tube and get the signature, the result, and then the, the, and then the vision is you get your result in 30 seconds if you are sick or not sick, or go to test. This is under now, under a big test, thousands of, uh, of uh, people have been tested, and now we are putting AI, artificial intelligence, above the physics phenomenon in order to train the machine to get very good results. The vision, of course, is few tens of seconds, one minute, two minutes, you get a result. You can do 100, 200,000 tests a day, and then you can control the disease. This is another technology. You breathe uh, your breath into some, some uh, container, and then you hook it to another machine, uh, and you get the result again. And very fast, it's still in testing. With all the regulation of the uh, Minister of Health, it's still in testing. And this is another technology which we push into the hospitals in the hospital, there are a lot of cameras. We hook the cameras to uh, uh, AI algorithms developed by a startup that we work with regarding the defense. We switch it to, uh, to help to automatically recognize the faces of the, of the staff, even they wore a, a mask, and then analyze what is happening, who is passed through, uh, who, who is wearing masks? So if something happened, you don't have to send all the, all the department home. Only the one that didn't uh, uh, wear masks and was uh, next to each other 15 minutes, you can do it very fast. We also introduce robots into the uh, department, robots that can help the doctors to treat the patient, not to come very close, to bring them food, uh, taking the trash, talking to the patients. Uh, so we test some robot, we put some software on board, it's already operational, they're buying it. Uh, and also we went into the hospital and digitized everything, starting with standoff measures, standoff measures, which mean I have, don't have to become close to the patient one second. I don't have to become close to the patients. I just use laser, electro optics, and also some radar, uh, military radar, to stand off a few meters ahead to take all the measure that is necessary. 
You can put it, of course, in malls. You can put it in hospitals and uh, uh, make sure that we are, you are not being infected. So this is uh, one technology. Other, other thing that we digitize everything in the hospital, everything in digital to one control center. You will see it uh, here. And then we put all together, all the hospital, almost all the hospital in Israel to one control center. Everything is digitized. You can see what is the logistic situation, who is in alert, what is the measures of each one. Uh, this is what we have done uh, during the coronavirus. Now, when talking about working with the, uh, in the recent years space of commercial technology and defense technology, we change how we work with the industry and academia. We work very fast. I give you some examples. We cooperate with the chief scientists of every, every entities in the government. We issue competition in the internet. One competition is uh, based on Kaggle uh, platform. We, let us say, the challenge was automatic identification of uh, cars or entities using AI. We send for training a few thousand of, uh, of tags uh, pictures, and then we test them for a few hundred, and we get first, uh, uh, first prize, second prize, third prize for all around the world. We have more than 500 teams around the world. We open ourselves to the world and take the best one. We shatter the bureaucracy in, in, uh, in uh, Israel, Ministry of Defense. I will talk about it later. Now, the inoffense, the inoffense uh, mechanism, we have three, let us say, me basic mechanism to work with uh, external innovation, startups, and commercial company. One is this, in, in this case, we have, have uh, some contract with two ex existing accelerator. One is IHLS, the other is SOSA. What we do? We try to uh, uh, find dual-use technology. We are uh, issue an open call with certain area of interest, and then the startup supply through these two uh, society IAGLS accelerator to 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 get the, uh, apply to this open call. We screen them by technology, innovation, and of course business case. This is what the accelerator do. We are doing with business case, and the winners. Let us say in the last uh, in the last round we have uh, 130 startups applied. We pick about 12, and then we give them money for proof of concept or demo. We give them technology monitoring with our expert of Mafat, the DRND, and we give them also the end user accompanying there, whether it's A200 or intelligence, Air Force, Navy, depends on the application. In addition to the commercial application which is not us, and then we, we, we are, uh, escort them to the success. It's not just, just give them the money. So this is the inoffense procedure. We have another one that we are in Mafat, in IMOD, IDF. We work directly contracting the startups is another mechanism. So we shrink the time to contract was more than a year to 40 days. And I, I, I ask my people to shrink it to two weeks. When I want to do something with startup, I finish the business in one month. To contracting, this is a very fast event compared to commercial market. And the, the third, uh, let us say, uh, structure is working. We give, again, scouting, technology, and operational team. We are already signed contract with three venture capitals. One is Canadian, one is US, and one is in uh, Singapore and Japan, international one, and one pension fund in Israel. We uh, uh, try to uh, recommend them and scout, scout with them, uh, together with them the good startup that are good for dual use for our uh, need and for the commercial uh, and the VC need. So this is uh, uh, what we do in uh, our organization. Thanks very much.